What does a creative producer do? Uh, well, quite a lot, I think, would be the right way to put it. Um, let's put it like this. I um, imagine myself and other independent creative producers as being at the center of a network of active, of, of active people who might be artists, who might be uh, producers and uh, fund funders, who might be audiences, who might be other creative producers and uh, people who are connected in this sector. And they basically we've created that network because we're working in a particular way with a particular type of work or working in a particular place. Like I said, I'm working quite a lot outdoors and, and in unconventional spaces. And they bring all these skills and experience with them. Uh, to projects, and I suppose our, one of the main uh, clients, as it were, for these skills might be institutions or organisations that in some way wish to develop what they're doing, uh, and uh, perhaps will call upon someone uh, like myself and others who have these connections to uh, enhance or develop their programme. And um, sometimes this works very well because uh, uh, the match is very good and sometimes it can be frustrating because a lot of the time um, organisations and institutions do have already their own, their own plan and their own way of working. So the important thing about a, cre a, a creative producer, an independent or as I would say autonomous <laughs> uh, creative producer is that they can provide things which the institutions may want or need and cannot easily lay their hands on and can provide solutions to questions which perhaps the institutions are uh, or the organisations are unable to answer. And that includes finding a new audience, um, maybe working with a new art form, uh, working in a different way with, a, with an artist, uh, or uh, simply enhancing the program that they've already got in their in their institution with something that is going to be, uh, let's say, newsworthy and um, uh, good for the promotion.